Manish here, back with another video on Easy Math. Previous Monday, we started the topic called as permutations and combinations. Today, we are going to continue that topic. In previous video, we have learned what if there are n possibilities in our first box and there are n possible and there are n boxes. We found that there will be n factorial ways. Okay, now in this video, we will find out what if there are n possibilities and just odd boxes. R is less than n. You know, first let's take an example to understand that easily. First let's take an example of total of 8 possibilities 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Let's imagine we inserted numbers randomly. We inserted 1 in our first box, 2 in our second box, and 7 in our third box. Okay, now if you insert 1 in our first box, we'll have 8 possibilities anyway, and in our second box, we'll have 6 possibilities excluding one because in permutations we shouldn't repeat a number in our second box we inserted two then in our third box we'll have just six possibilities well, let's imagine we inserted seven okay it is not important to the for that in here what are the total possibilities in previous video we have found that the total possibilities is equal to product of possibilities in each box okay now first box we have eight possibilities into in our second box we have seven possibilities into in our third box we have 6 possibilities 8 into 7 into 6 ok you can multiply that easily but let's take that in another way let's multiply with 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 on numerator and denominator ok you may ask why because if we multiply like that we can get that in the form of 8 factorial for getting in the form of factorial let's multiply Okay, then it becomes 8, 8 factorial by numerator, numerator also, denominator also we multiplied with that. So, we will get 8 factorial by 5 factorial. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, 8 means total possibilities, right? Tot factorial of total possibilities by 5. How can you represent 5? Okay, the total possibilities are 8 and the total boxes are 3. 8 minus 3, 5. Okay, yes. So, the permutations with n possibilities and r boxes is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. Okay, the permutations is represented in this way. First, we will insert n above permutations. We will start that with n means total possibilities and we will insert p and we will insert r means total boxes in the subscript okay now the this is the formula n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial okay guys now let's discuss about combinations okay combinations what is a combination okay the combination means the arrangement of elements in form of groups. In permutations, we will arrange them in form of list. Means in that list, the number of that element mean at, means at which place the element is inserted also matters. But in combinations, only a group. A group will have some numbers. You can tell them. You can tell them in any order. Means here the order does not matter. You can write them in any order. Okay, now let's take an example. We have five possibilities. We have five possibilities. And we should take a group of five. Okay, now here. Here also we should not repeat elements. Okay, then without repeating how many will be? Okay, you can guess this easily. There will be. Just say one possibility. You can just you can only insert these five in any order. We can insert only these five. Right? So total number of combinations just one. The total combinations are just one. Okay now in this way you cannot you can't understand anything, right? Okay now let's take in another way. Let's take Another example with 5 possibilities and just 3 boxes. 
okay guys now there are five possibilities and three boxes on a group of three elements okay now in this group we as one of the member in the group and some two three four or five let's take three in our sec three as our second element and five as our third element then here one, okay now here one three five can represent it in any way in permutation means one three five one five three three five three five one three one five five one three five three one means total six ways these one three fives can be represented in six ways okay and if we take two one four they can also be represented in six ways means every element can be represented in six ways in permutations so we should divide the total permutations by six to get combinations in this case means what it will be the total possibilities are five into four three the total possibilities are five into four into three by six these are the total possibilities in combinations which is nothing but 10 okay now what if there are n possibilities and r boxes as before how can we represent that how is that possible to find number of combinations okay now here we took three boxes now let's take an example with four members in a group or four elements in a group then how many will have total four elements in a group means if we take these two common if we leave our first one then we will have six and if we take the second member in our first one we will have another six and third member in our first one will have another six means total of six fours 24 right okay now six 24 and what if there are just two boxes we have just two possibilities okay how are these okay if we take okay if we take properly two factorial what is the value of two factorial two right now what is the value of three factorial one in one into two into three which is nothing but six what are the total possibilities what is the value of 4 factorial? It is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 24. As you see, if, they, if we take four, 4 elements in our group, we are having 4 factorial ways. If we take 3 elements in our group, we are getting 3 factorial ways. If we take 2, we are getting 2 factorial. Means we divide the permutations by R factorial to get the combinations. Okay, from this we can tell that the total number of combinations for n possibilities and r elements in each group is n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Okay, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon to notify you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts or if I missed any topic, comment down below.